So these are the two servers where I have already installed JFrag as well as Jenkins. Okay. Uh, so I'll connect to these machines and show you. First of all, let, let me start with the this uh, JFrag server. Yeah, I have logged into these two servers. No. Okay, so where is my JFR? First of all, every time, um, I told you, right? So if you have to set the uh, environment variable, I need, you need to go ahead and uh, expose that one. Otherwise, you put it in. Uh, the file directly it will automatically take okay so this is um, this is not my permanent mission i'm not doing it. yeah so this is set now how do i start the uh, gif file if it is not running so by the way you can see whether it is running or Yes, I can hear grab JFrag will give you some output. So there is no JFrag run, right? Because this is the only command which I have executed. So I need to make sure JFrag is up and running. Okay. For this reason, JFrag underscore home artifactory app bin. So there is a tool called artifactory. CTL. So if you if you execute this one, this will start. Okay, this will start the JFrag. Uh, we'll do one thing. Jenkins will install from fresh. Okay, so this will already. This is already configured with something. I don't want you to uh, miss that one configuration part. So let me create a new Jenkins. <clears throat> I'll take four good images, it will be fast. So, create a droplet.
Yeah, so this Jenkins uh, is up and running. Meanwhile, we'll go ahead and uh, install Jenkins, and we'll configure from scratch. Okay. So SSH overload, overload. So first, what I need to do, I'll first do the M update. Okay. Okay. So APT update. Sorry. M is for uh, CentOS. Okay. So now we'll see Java is there or not, right? So Java is not there, then we'll install OTP install. Uh, uh, Ali, just a minute. <laughs> like Java is needed? For, hello? Uh, uh, hello? Yes, yes, uh, Arun. Uh, uh, this one, Java is needed, required? Yeah, uh, yeah. Java is for sure needed because J, uh, JFrag or Jenkins, they are Java based products. If there is no Java, they won't install. Okay. No, because uh, I don't have Java knowledge. So it will be difficult, right? Then? No, no. You don't need to have a knowledge, right? So if, if you, uh, for example, I'll give you a best example. So do you know how a car is manufactured? Uh, no. <laughs> how a TV is manufactured? No, no. Do you, know, do you have to be an electrician to switch on your uh, fan, AC, or, uh, right? You don't need. But you need to have that one, right? So you need to have electricity, or the switches and plugs, uh, all this you need to be configured. Mm -hmm. You just need to use it. So Java is also, you are not like, going to write any program on Java. Because this is a Java based product, you need to have Java installed. That's it. But okay. you need to know how to install Java. Okay. okay. Ah. That's it. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, so, so Ali, like what you are saying is, we we have AWS as our infrastructure. Then we have Jenkins as our integration tool for Java. So you you so technically it's like um, GitHub for the developers to write the oh. it you know and put their code repository. Yes. Then you have a build tool like Maven. Yes. Then you have an integration tool like uh, Jenkins where you integrate you know the source code and. Yes. you know and continuously develop and build you go, you're going to build J, with within jenkins itself you can be using mavin you can build a java code right and this jfrog is used to deploy it no, correct no. jfrog is not used to deploy it is just as a storage place where you store it okay whatever the, 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 the uh, build after building after building you mean yes yes so deployment tool we have another tool which is uh, that tool later but this is just to store okay. This is just to store, right? So we have where do so you will version it and just to store it, just version it and store it. That's it. Exactly, exactly. Right. Okay, okay. Yeah. But but it will differ for this is typically for a Java environment. Now it will for uh, .NET environment it will be completely yeah. different, right? We think see Jenkins is a tool which requires Java. It doesn't mean that it is only meant for Java. Only if you are building the Java project. In that case, only Java is, it's not like that. Java is needed, must for Jenkins to install, okay? So even okay. JFrag also, we are not uh, uh, writing any code or deploying any Java-related code in the JFrag. Still, we need Java for JFrag because the underlying platform technology in which these are developed, right? These tools are developed Correct. is Java. That's where they need that Java environment. Either Correct. Is a project or Ruby project or Gradle project, whatever it may be. But if you want whatever. to use Jenkins to build those projects, Jenkins to uh, run, right? It needs Java. It is not for your yeah. Python project or Gradle project. It is for Jenkins. Correct. It is for JFrag to run, right? These two tools, Correct. Correct. either even Nexus also you take another. So many of the tools are developed in uh, Java programming language. Whatever the tool that is mm -hmm. Java programming language, they need a Java mm -hmm. time environment. You don't need to develop or write code, but you need that environment because someone has already developed and that tool you are using. 
so because you are using that tool you need that uh, uh, environment to run that particular tool right correct so so even so if i am a typical guy i i a yeah, typical devops guy i would have uh, jenkins uh, say if the project is java based then the build tool will be maven but yes. if it is a python means some other build tool will be there which i can get within jenkins yes. you know like a plugin i download and install for python for ruby or anything so where i would build it and store still able to store it in jfrog yes you're right that's what you are saying correct right so so my my uh, next question is from from uh, the actual devops work is they once they check once they commit the code the developers commit the code do we as a devops need to build that using whatever the build tool that we going to do and then use the jfrog to save it or the developer itself will build it and our work is just to manage the entire operations of jenkins and the storage point of uh, jfrog how does that work see it depends on the triggering point okay uh, again so developers can himself you provide a job okay so any time he wants to go and uh, build a job right if it is a for a development environment he can go and click a job so that it will build or else you can uh, i mean it is how you design the jobs there would be multiple use cases right multiple uh, needs for the same job either sometimes if the developer himself go and uh, build the job to make sure that that is code is working properly or you yourself make that build in such a way that so whenever someone checks the code it automatically builds the code and uh, it will be verified so only thing is you need to have uh, this observability you need to design and implement these jobs and you need to observe monitor them okay so if something goes wrong if he is unable to use he don't have knowledge of jenkins right he, he will he will reach out to you why a specific build is failed or can you go and log in and see yes so this is because of this problem and this is because of this developer check in this is saying problem with the build okay then you can intimate or uh, inform them so that they will act according got it got it tell you got it okay thanks yeah so now java is installed next is uh, jenkins how do i install jenkins so i follow this uh, uh, steps okay so this is a, these are the typical four steps that you need to follow to install uh, jenkins okay then uh, add repository location then uh, one more question ali like this jenkins will it be common for all environment or it will be environmental specific it will be there like if let's assume if there is in a project five environment is there like sys or sys test or a test environment pre prod prod so will the jenkins be a common for all the environment or it will be specific jenkins will be there for each and every environment so there is no such restriction saying that okay this jenkins is only for this environment this so it is it's up to you right so you want you don't want to mix up general practice is see as as the development process happens you also need to have the corresponding uh, uh, matching and uh, jenkins for example we we'll, uh, you take like this okay you have a development and you have a test and one then you have a production and one okay so development is where you do lot of uh, right so this uh, trial and error mechanism lot of uh, daily app uh, builds happening everyone go and modifies so that's where you don't want to interfere this jenkins development uh, environment jenkins with the production environment jenkins uh, jobs in that case you can make this to a separate uh, also there will be an access issue right so production access will not be given to everyone right only the uh, people legitimate people who are authorized to log into the production only those people will have access to production in that case if the developers i mean you don't want to give access to the because developers if they experiment on production right everything is screwed up right they will be doing some testing or experimenting something when they during that experiment the whole system may go down right 
if it is a development environment again it's no issues again they can uh, bring it back but if it is a production environment where someone experiments if some production goes down then it's a very serious business problem right so that's where you can uh, have those uh, uh, impact analysis risk analysis and make sure that okay if something works fine on uh, development environment then only you take it to the production in that case yeah having two or three jenkins is always a good part got it hello so there are we hello there won't be any product jenkins for production right as per there will be there will be uh, jenkins for production why not sorry sorry i just lost you there for a couple of minutes sorry what okay. was i saying sorry so I, what i was saying is the development environment is always for experimenting right so production environments are for the where the customer uh, 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 will directly will have access to that one if some production environment goes down right so there will be a serious business impact right so that's where that is a restricted environment where you are not allowed to uh, uh, anyone to do any experiments on the production part so that's where what I, the best practice is have multiple uh, jenkins right for a development one on jenkins for uh, qa or staging one jenkins and the, for the production another thing yeah having two or three is always a good uh, practice it's a safe to use so the, the so, so the best practice is not to have jenkins for production no no right have a separate you, you will have no no have a separate jenkins for production and uh, separate jenkins for uh, development 